All right, turning our attention over to the energy sector, the oil services ETF ticker OIH is up more than 40 percent this month, and that puts it on pace for its best month in nearly two years. Today, Wells Fargo is saying the energy cycle has matured enough to fully favor energy services. In fact, in that note, they're saying they expect the, the sector to deliver consistent, sequential and year over year earnings and cash flow improvements. Uh, big uh, upgrade from Wells Fargo. Brand, you have a lot of energy exposure. What's your take on this upgrade, Halliburton in particular? So I think that when it comes down to energy, when you look at free cash flow and multiples, this is where if you're not looking at energy in your portfolio, I think you're just missing a huge opportunity. Right now, if you just look at the energy sector, it has a free cash flow of over 10 percent. It's next 12 month earnings P.E. of eight. And so you have really high free cash flow, just like Halliburton, you know, continues to execute. So I think you don't have to just look at oil services. I think across the space within EMP, with oil services, with uh, mineral rights, you can get really high quality companies with really good dividends. And also it's volatile. It's a volatile space that's not going to stop. And so you can still sell calls against these names as well, a lot of them, to collect extra income on top of the yield. So I think there's just so much optionality in the space. So if you're looking to diversify away from tech or some other higher PE areas, energy it makes a host of sense for so many different reasons. Yeah, Joe, we were talking about this earlier. Other areas just showing some leadership today. Um, energy, obviously, a place where we've seen a lot of interest from traders and a lot of moves to the upside. Um, what do you think about this call for Halliburton and just the, the sector in general? Well, I, I'll take the sector perspective overall, and it's up 60 percent year to date energy equities. They're outperforming spot oil and spot natural gas year to date. Um, for the month, we're up about 22 percent. A lot of people will look at that outperformance and say, OK, it's time to reduce your allocation towards energy. But all of the fundamentals right now still point towards maintaining an overweight exposure to the sector. We've placed a Band-Aid on the domestic and global supply challenges. We're only at the initial stages of seeing some form of demand destruction. And within that universe, you have companies that are focusing on the balance sheet. And for a shareholder, tell me what more you want the company to do than improve the balance sheet and turn around and return capital to you as the shareholder in forms of dividends and stock buyback. So I think without question, maintaining the overweight exposure, whether it's through oil field services or the multinational E&Ps or the refiners is the right play. Having the transmission exposure, maybe through a chenier, that works as well. But there is no reason to move away from that just because the price of energy for equities is up 60 percent year to date. That's not a reason to sell. All right, Weiss, coming over to you, you actually own shares of EQT. Um, actually pretty flat, actually, over the last month, underperforming the market down today. What's your take on this call in the sector and any thoughts about your investment there in EQT? Yeah, my, my thoughts on EQT is that it's been a terrible investment when the market has moved a lot higher. But I, I, I think it's just uh, fallen, uh, fallen victim, victim to just incredible expectations of that gas and LNG. So I'm sticking with those because I think they work. Um, Joe, I believe, owns it also. Um, look, I've missed the energy trade. Uh, I should have listened to Bryn uh, earlier. But, you know, I sort of think listening to somebody from Texas talking about energy is like <laughs> listening to me talking about great-looking, curly, blonde-haired guys. You know, I'm going to have a bias positive. Um, but it's got some we more room to run. The Saudis just told you that last week. You didn't? Well, you, you should have. Um, the Saudis told you it's got more room to run. So I think energy looks fine here. <laughs> I like that shout out to yourself. That was interesting.